Yo, what is it guys? So today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the two weapons that came in Season of the Hunt, which is the Guiding Sight, which is a 150 scout rifle, and the Steady Hand, which is a 120 hand cannon. Real quick, I think out of the gates, if you guys want to know my favorite weapon, it's going to be the Steady Hand. The Steady Hand is just all around really good. I do think that if this had Kill Clip, I would much more... I would, let, I would love it a lot more, honestly, but it does have one damage perk on it, which at least we got something. So we'll talk about the steady hand when we do. Let's look at the guiding sight first. It's a 150 scout rifle, so immediately it's gonna hit like a truck, but it also feels like you're carrying a truck. So unfortunately, if you don't like bulky weapons, then this weapon may not be for you. Although there are a few things in the perk rotation that I can actually fix that for you. So let's look at the perks real quick. It's gonna be rapid hit, quick draw, hit fire grip, slide shot, surplus, and ambitious assassin for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be Vorpal weapon, iron grip, Zen moment, iron gaze, one for all, and osmosis. So immediately for the people that know, Quick draw is going to immediately fix that heaviness that the scout rifle feels. Uh, you're immediately going to feel nothing of that because quick draw gives you a like basically max out the handling, which means that you just feel nothing. If it had snapshot sights, that would work as well. Uh, personally, I would probably go with either rapid hit or quick draw. I could see a case being set for slide shot. I would ignore hip fire completely, but I mean, if you want to do some weird builds, be my guest. Surplus, I can see. I can see people using surplus considering that each stack of your abilities when they're loaded gives you a bump in handling reload and stability so you get pretty much everything but that does mean you're sacrificing either not using your abilities or you drain all of those stats when you use your abilities so for me it's a double-edged sword and I use my grenade and melee a lot and since I'm a hunter my dodge is always on cooldown so this would probably probably be not the best one for me Ambitious Assassin would be the best one for PvE, honestly. For the second row, uh, this is where it gets really difficult because I don't think there's any really good perks on it. Uh, Vorpal Weapon is probably going to be the best one. If you're looking for PvE specifically, then I would say Rapid Hit or Ambitious Assassin with Vorpal Weapon. Unless you really hate the bulkiness of it, then Quick Draw and Vorpal Weapon would probably be the best choice. For PvP, uh, Rapid Hit, Quick Draw, Slide Shot, and then Surplus would be really good choices. With Quick Draw being the one I would probably go for personally. Uh, Zen Moment would probably be really good for controller players. I would probably tell you Iron Grip is a, is a good one to sacrifice Reload Speed just because you can bypass Reload Speed with a lot of classes. Uh, Iron Gaze is the one I would not recommend. You get a negative on 40 with range, and then you get only get 20 on aim assist. I would, if, if you're crazy, do it. I just wouldn't do it. One for All is another one that you might do in, instead of Vorpal Weapon. If you guys don't know, hit uh, One for All, basically hitting it three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. I can see the case being said for this one. I just think Vorpal Weapon is going to be a little bit better considering it does more damage to against bosses but that being said you are using a primary for boss damage so at that point one for all would probably be better and it's a lot more fun and engaging in my opinion and osmosis is literally garbage i would not use it at all like at all unless you're doing like high-end content but even even then like why would you use this so that's pretty much it let's get on to steady hand for the next weapon it's gonna be the steady hand which is definitely a weapon i am loving a lot 120s are beginning to be one of my favorite archetypes in the hand cannon meta. It's a lot of fun to be able to two tap people. You can easily two tap people when you have a damage perk with a 120. So I'll be making another video of a specific iron banner weapon that I have that can two tap. But for now, let's look at the steady hand, which by no means is not a bad weapon. I fucking love this weapon. It's great. So I think that stats are okay, but specifically like it's it's the, it's the perks that it can get that really excite me so the first row is going to be quick draw outlaw slide shot killing wind zen moment and moving target for the last row it's going to be swashbuckler it's wellspring mulligan snapshot sights iron grip and iron gaze so immediately iron grip and iron gaze should not be you don't even look at them i don't think they're worth it in my opinion especially iron gaze you lose too much range and for a 120 that's really the their biggest asset is their range so 
more aim assist for a negative 40 range? I don't think so, dog. Iron Grip is another one that I think is not worth it, but I can see people arguing that it is good. For me, you're gonna wanna get Quick Draw and Swashbuckler. Now, I know people are gonna say, what about Outlaw? What about Killing Wind? What about uh, Moving Target? L listen, for me, my biggest issue with 120s is the fact that they feel sluggish. They feel just bulky to use. Quick Draw really fixes that problem for you. If you wanted to go an extra step, Snapshot Sights will make you feel like this is like not even a gun that's a 120. So the gun's already consistent as fuck without all of those. But if you put Quick Draw, it's gonna make you feel like, like it's not a 120. And that's probably why I love it the most. But the role that I have that I had a lot of fun with is Killing Wind and Wellspring. I think those two are really, really good together. Uh, if you want to know like my actual like god role, like what would I want to get like specifically like the best role? It's going to be Quick Draw with Swashbuckler or Killing Wind with Swashbuckler. I like Wellspring, but I think I'll value Swashbuckler more, especially in PvP because... I a melee hit a melee kill is not really hard especially like if you use a specific melee so like hunter hunter solar de uh bottom bottom tree you can really you can really fuck up people uh get that swashbuckler up to five you'll be able to two tap people depending on how long the range is especially if you have five sacks you'll probably be able to do it pr from a pretty far distance so that's probably why i'll be sticking to like quick draw and swashbuckler but don't get it twisted killing wind is literally right below like quick draw probably head and head and head really i think killing wind's an amazing trait like it's such a good one this is probably one of my favorite perks that they've introduced ever i love it final blows grant increased mobility weapon range and handling for a short duration i love that especially especially for a 120 so get your hands on it guys this weapon is foul i love it i'm definitely going to be making the video of my my actual weapon that i used in crucible where i was just popping heads and just to let you guys know the roles that i have on that it's actually snapshot sights and kill clip and it has drop mag too so it fixes pretty much everything on a 120 you guys probably know which weapon it is already but i'll talk about that in a separate video because i, I do think this weapon uh, deserves its own video so let me know what your roles in the comments below are you guys trying to farm any of these let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really really appreciate it and other than that i'll see you guys later